The latest data shows Georgia may have hit its peak with the Omicron surge, but we continue to see high case numbers, and now we're well above the levels we saw before Omicron's arrival. Each day, we're still seeing thousands of new cases added to Georgia's overall case count. Since Friday, the state's public health department has identified more than 45,000 new infections, and that's keeping case averages near record levels. For some perspective here, that's about 11 times higher than our average right when Omicron was first identified in Georgia. We also have not yet seen a steady decline in COVID patients. As of today, more than 5,000 people with COVID are in the state's hospitals, and that's putting a heavy strain on our medical resources. Georgia is still losing lives to the virus every day. At least 80 more Georgians have died from COVID since Friday. Our state has surpassed 27,000 deaths since the start of the pandemic. And all of this data is showing that Georgia has not cleared this Omicron hurdle yet. Christy Diaz joining us live with how health experts say we can possibly start moving in a better direction. That is something I think we can all agree on. We want to do that. <laughs> We want the positive news and we want to look forward, right, Cheryl? And health experts say that the way to do that here is by staying aware and not giving into a false sense of security. Here in Georgia, yes, it's likely that we are over the Omicron peak. Um, other states, however, may not be. Doctors say if we get a lazy or a casual attitude about infection prevention, then those numbers could go right back up. Omicron is different than other variants because it moves so much faster. It took Georgia only seven weeks weeks to hit the Omicron peak compared to almost nine weeks for Delta last summer. And after hitting the Delta peak, it took about 10 weeks to fall to a transmission rate below 5%, which is what's considered manageable. Now, right now we're hovering at about 25%. Here is Atlanta physician Dr. Frida Fisher. It's important thing for people to know about a peak is that a peak does not mean the end. In other words, even if the cases have peaked and they've started to come down, I mean, that's wonderful news. Don't get me wrong. That's brilliant news. But we still have to watch for the fallout. And Dr. Fisher says, consider this, Georgia may be on the decline in the number of cases and on the other side of the Omicron peak, but our borders are open and people can come visit us from anywhere. So if they're coming from states and areas that have high transmission rates and high infection rates, then that's something we should be careful of. Cheryl. You know, Christy, we've learned a lot over the last two years and we have learned that we have these ups and downs and I guess we're always ready for whatever comes next. Thanks a lot, Christy.